Hi, this is Stacy Hall, Chairman of the Habersham County Board of Commissioners. I want to come to you tonight and summarize the executive order that Governor Kemp issued yesterday. Uh, at 6.19 p.m. tonight, we uh, received that order. I have shared that with our local leaders, uh, and we have posted that on our county website at HabershamGA.com. There are several documents there that will give you more information about the executive order. And tonight, I just want to try to do my best to summarize it. There's a lot of detail on there, uh, but I'm just going to spend a few minutes hitting the, the high points. Uh, and uh, if there are any questions, again, I want to direct you to HaversamGA.com. Uh, again, this is a mandatory statewide shelter-in-place order that impacts all of us. Uh, there are, and it can get a little bit of confusing because he's categorizing certain businesses. Uh, but this order will go from uh, into effect tomorrow, April 3rd, uh, Friday, beginning at 6 p.m. And it will go through Monday, April 13th at 11.59 p.m. Uh, and again, it, 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 we'll start with the businesses. There's three categories. Uh, there's, there's certain, he lists in the executive order certain businesses that must cease operations uh, within this time frame. And then and there's critical infrastructure businesses and non-critical infrastructure businesses. Everybody's going to fall in one of those three categories. Now, I'm going to list quickly the businesses that must cease operations and close to, uh, to the public during this time. Those include bars, nightclubs, gyms, fitness centers, bowling alleys, theaters, live performance venues, uh, operators of amusement parks, dine-in services at restaurants and private social clubs. Uh, there are exceptions for takeout and curbside pickup, delivery, uh, and the like. Uh, it's, those are okay, but all dine-in services at restaurants and private social clubs must cease. Uh, estheticians, hair designers, body art studios, beauty shops and salons, barber shops, cosmetolo excuse me, cosmetology schools, hair design schools, barbering schools, aesthetic schools, nail care schools, and licensed massage therapists. If you have a business in one of those categories, uh, the governor's order is directing you to close during this time frame. Uh, all other entities may continue to operate subject to specific uh, restrictions that I'll get into in, in just a moment. So uh, now we'll deal with the two uh, other critical, um, the other categories. One, critical infrastructure. Uh, the Department of Homeland Security uh, uh, has a document that lists if your industry is uh, as part of or falls into that critical infrastructure. Again, that is on our website. I'm going to very quickly try to go through uh, what some of those industries are. So if you work in one of these industries, uh, there's a good chance uh, that you're able to still, uh, to still uh, work. Uh, these include communications, chemical, uh, critical manufacturing, commercial facilities, dams, defense industrial base, emergency services, energy, financial, food and agriculture, government facilities, healthcare and public health, information technology, nuclear reactors, materials and waste, uh, transportation systems, and water. All of those will fall into critical infrastructure, uh, and there are 16 recommendations as far as social distancing that is uh, and, and cleanliness that are included in the executive order. So that leaves non-critical infrastructure. If you're not, if your business is not included in the ones that need to close and are not listed in the ones uh, for critical infrastructure, then you fall under non-critical. Uh, infrastructure uh, businesses. And these businesses uh, can operate as long as they follow social distancing guidelines uh, and can only engage in minimum basic operations. And all those are defined in, in the uh, executive order as well. And then they also must meet 20 different requirements as far as cleanliness and social distancing and, and things of that nature. So uh, you can operate, but only minimally and you must follow uh, a number of other rules. Now, as far as families and individuals, um, uh, the basic rule is all residents and visitors of Georgia must shelter in place without question during this time frame. You must shelter in place. Now, there are four exceptions, uh, and I'm, I'll quickly go through those and try to explain each. Number one, engaging in essential services. Essential services are simply going to the grocery store, uh, uh, trying to get supplies or medical supplies, going to medical appointments, um, uh, things of that nature. Pharmacy, uh, and those are clearly listed in, in the document as well. Number two, 
working in critical infrastructure, which I just talked about. So if you've got to get to work, then you may leave your house if you're working in critical infrastructure. If you're engaging in minimum basic operations, uh, again, that falls under non-critical infrastructure. And then fourth, finally, performing necessary travel. Now, the necessary travel, as uh, Governor Kemp defines, means travel required for someone to conduct or participate in essential services, minimum basic operation, uh, or work for critical infrastructure. So kind of the same things that uh, reasons you don't have to stay at home or, or part of that necessary travel. But again, just to emphasize, the general rule is stay home. Now, uh, there are, some, some folks have asked me about this as far as enforcement. There will be several state agencies that the, the governor has outlined in his executive order that are enforcing uh, this order. And if somebody violates the order, uh, that is considered a misdemeanor. Uh, so that it can be punishable uh, as, a, as a misdemeanor. Uh, also, the governor's order supersedes all local uh, um, uh, orders or declarations. So local uh, county governments or municipality governments cannot add to the order or take away from the order as well. Uh, the, the executive order from the governor is the law of the land throughout Georgia during this time. There are a few commonly asked questions uh, that I want to uh, try to provide some answers for. Do I need a letter to prove that I can keep working? Uh, according to the governor, you do not. You do not need a letter from your employer or the government to prove that you fall into one of the exceptions. What happens if I violate the governor's executive order? As I already alluded to, if you violate any of the terms of the order, you are committing a misdemeanor. Third, what does the order mean for church services and funeral services? No, and the answer, no business, establishment, for-profit or non-profit corporation, organization, or county or municipal government is allowed to have more than 10 people gathering in a single location unless there is at least six feet between each person at all times. So it, it, it'll go, it goes on to a little bit more detail uh, in the uh, executive order itself. Can I go to state parks or play sports outside like golf? This is a question I've been getting a lot uh, lately as, as well as other uh, commissioners. Yes, according to the governor's executive orders, yes, you can visit state parks and play sports outside, including golf, subject to certain restri restrictions, such as gatherings of more than 10 people are banned unless they're at least six feet between each person at all times. Now, uh, this is particularly sensitive uh, in Northeast Georgia because we have wonderful parks, wonderful state parks, wonderful lakes. Uh, the issue has been there has there's been a lot of concern uh, from myself, from other commissioners, uh, from 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 you uh, about folks driving up from hot spots uh, with the virus and coming up to our parks and interacting with different stores and the public uh, while they're doing that. Uh, I can tell you that there are a number of commissioners uh, here in Haversham as well as neighboring counties that will be working together to draft a letter. We'll be asking for the support of our local state delegation. Uh, as part of that letter as well, and to present that letter to Governor Kemp asking for him to close our state parks to help minimize uh, the potential spread of the virus. So we will be doing that very, very quickly. Finally, I, wanna, I just want to encourage everyone. Uh, I know this is a very trying time. Uh, I know folks are, are getting a little stir-crazy in the house. I just ask that you bear with us. Uh, that that we we follow the executive order. Uh, I do believe Governor Kemp is trying to do his best to to help us all and and, and maintain safety and health and well-being. Uh, but we have to work together. We all, every one of us, must obey the directives in the executive order. And together we'll get through this. Uh, I keep saying that, but I, because I believe it. Uh, but I just uh, I pray for you. Uh, I pray for our state. I pray for our country. Uh, and I am confident that. Uh, uh, very soon, this will this will be over. Thank you for listening tonight. God bless you.